Can stars turn into planets? A star can't fail at being a star and start behaving more planet-like. They don't have enough mass to continue shining and become brown dwarfs. These aren't true stars, but they also can't be called planets. They're still more massive and sit in the middle of their system like any typical star would. What about the other way around? Well, gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn are humongous planets that consist of similar stuff to what stars are made of, but they aren't massive enough. You need a hundred Jupiter-like planets to make one measly lightweight star, and nothing like this can happen as far as astronomers know. So what are stars made of? Only around 2% of a star is something other than helium and hydrogen, which play a key role in its activity. Fun fact, metals are bad for a star's longevity, but metal-rich stars are more likely to have planets orbiting them. Where do stars come from? Stars out in space appear from huge clouds of gas and dust. These clouds start to shrink because of their inner gravity. At some point, they become so massive and dense, it sparks a reaction of hydrogen fusion. Soon, a blazing hot protostar appears out of it. How big can a star be? The largest star we currently know of is a luminous supergiant called WOH G64, almost as if it were named after a license plate. It could be up to 17 billion times larger than the Sun. It's also surrounded by a dust cloud so vast, it would take a year for light to go through it. How bright can they get? Well, the brightest star you can see in the night sky is Sirius. No, that's its name, not its attitude. It's so bright because it's close to us, and it's twice the size and 25 times more luminous than the Sun. But the brightest star scientists know of is 163,000 light-years away from the Earth. And it shines like nearly 7 million suns combined. Wow! Do all stars have planets? At least sun-like stars usually have planets around them, often Earth-like ones too. There are many more planets that don't have any stars than stars that have no planets. Some get kicked out of their systems by other planets' gravitational forces and become rogue planets. It'd be like Jupiter's gravity somehow slinging Earth out of our solar system. Well, that's not nice. Do stars move? Just like moons move around planets and planets around stars, stars themselves go around the center of their galaxy. Our own Sun is moving around the Milky Way going more than 500,000 miles per hour. It goes a full circle every 230 million years. Do stars twinkle? We see stars twinkling because we're looking at them through the Earth's atmosphere. The air is never static, it moves and has turbulences that distort the light of distant stars. Planets we sometimes see in the night sky don't twinkle nearly as often because they're closer. How do stars' life cycles end? Well, mostly when they stop pedaling. Sun-like stars start to run out of hydrogen and swell up into huge red giants. The core of a red giant will eventually run out of resources again. It'll expand and cool down. That star will become a white dwarf surrounded by a nebula. The white dwarf will continue to cool down until it becomes a black dwarf. But this is only one way. Bigger stars burst into supernovas. What's a supernova? Hey, glad you asked. This is what happens when a gigantic star reaches its limits, collapses, and then bursts out with matter within it. Supernovas are rare and extremely bright events that can leave huge nebulas behind them or even a black hole. Do all black holes appear from stars? Only some of them come from supermassive stars bursting into supernovas. Other black holes appear from two really dense objects, like neutron stars smashing into each other. And there are supermassive black holes whose origins are still a mystery for astronomers. One theory is that they appear when smaller black holes merge into one. What are neutron stars? 
Neutrons are one of four atomic building blocks. The others are protons, electrons, and really stupid ones called morons. If the star that's about to collapse is too big to become a white dwarf and too small to become a black hole, it'll become a neutron star. They're just a few miles in diameter, but have all the mass of a star. That makes them super dense. Just a teaspoon of their material would weigh billions of tons. They also spin hundreds of times in a second. Are there real shooting stars? Yeah, but they mostly use blanks. Well, what we call a shooting star is just a small meteor burning bright in the upper layers of the Earth's atmosphere. But some stars can move against the usual rotation of their galaxy. They move so fast, they can bolt right out of the galaxy. A star can achieve such speed if a supernova goes off somewhere nearby and throws it out of town. Could a planet have two suns? Yes, and up to three daughters. Well, stars often form so-called binary systems, where they spin around some point between them, like two people holding hands and twirling around. Some systems even include more stars. New Scorpio probably has seven stars in it. Systems with more stars can exist in theory, but they can't be very stable. Are there any cold stars? Well, there are a few in Hollywood that aren't very friendly. Actually, the coldest and least shiny brown dwarf astronomers ever found is just 8 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's still considered a star since it's too massive to be a planet. Can a black hole swallow a star? Well, black holes don't pull everything from any distance into them and swallow all the matter around. But as soon as something crosses the black hole's event horizon, it won't escape the immense gravity. When this happens to stars, a black hole consumes half the star's mass, and the rest gets shredded into streams that go over the event horizon with time. Kind of like playing with your food. What are the closest and furthest stars from the Sun? Well, the closest star to us is a dim red dwarf called Proxima Centauri, the smallest one in the Alpha Centauri trio. It's 4.2 light years away from the Sun. The most distant star ever discovered is named Icarus, and it's about 5 billion light years from us. We can only see it thanks to the gravitational lensing of a colossal galaxy cluster. Ooh, I could use a peanut cluster right about now. How many stars are visible from the Earth? Out of the hundreds of billions of stars in the Milky Way, we won't see an absurd majority of them. They're either hidden by something or too dim to be visible. In a clear night sky and without any light to pollute the picture, you'll be able to see around 3,000 stars. Some other objects you may see are planets, distant galaxies, satellites, or even the International Space Station. That is a fun thing to see. How old can a star be? At first, the Methuselah star was estimated to be about 16 billion years old. The universe is only 13.8 billion years, so you can imagine scientists' confusion. Further research proved that this star could be 14.5 billion years old, give or take 800 million years. We had to carefully count the candles on the birthday cake. We still don't know for sure if it's older than existence, but it probably formed shortly after the Big Bang. How many stars are in the universe? There are only scientific suggestions, but there are around 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe. Galaxies are different, yet an average galaxy is massive enough to fit 100 billion stars. Count the rest yourself, I already feel too dizzy.